Welcome to this Application Express development team video on Application Express 5.0 Page Designer Grid Layout. I have page 7 from the sample database application already loaded up into my page designer. You'll notice that this is actually a modal page. As such, I can't actually run directly from the page designer. Instead, I'd have to go to another page such as page 2, which is the interactive report for customers, and then click on one of the customers and it'll bring up this modal page. You may have also noticed that I have this address region in here, so it's not the standard sample database application that you get when you install it. You'll also see that I have these various placeholders here. If I go to the grid layout menu, then I can actually hide those empty positions. Now it's much easier to see the items. I'd like to have more real estate to see my grid layout. I've got choices. I can actually move these splitters to the sides. Alternatively, I can click on this expand button. And now it's showing me the full screen. And when I look at it this way, you can see that I've got a, the state and postal code are in this region. And really, I should have them in the address region. So I'm just going to click on them, drag them across, drop in the state, and do the same with the postal code. So I'll just drag that in as well. Now I'd like to actually move the first name and last name to be on the same line. So I've just dragged the last name. See that little box, which allows me to drop it at the end. And same with phone number two, I want to drop that at the end here. So I'll just drop that next to phone number one. And let's go back out to the full page designer. Now I'd actually like to go in and add in a region. So I'm just going to scroll down here because I want to add it to the bottom of this. Within regions, you'll see that there's little icons on each of these to represent the sort of region that it is. And if I keep scrolling down, you'll find interactive reports. I'm just going to drag this up. And when I drag it up into the grid layout, I can actually drop it here below those regions. It's given it a name of new. And it also wants a SQL statement. So I'm just going to add in select asterisk for MIMP. I want to change the name of this to employees. OK, so I'm great. I'm done what I need. If I actually scroll down within rendering here, and have a look at that region, you'll notice that it's actually included all the columns from the employees table because of the fact I used select asterisks from, and I could actually go and modify any of these uh, attributes for the columns if I chose to. Now let's go and have a look at this address region. So I'm just going to select the address region, and then I want to zoom in so that that's the only region I see. Now I'd actually like to go and add in a button. Before I drop the button in, I'm actually just going to go and unhide the empty positions again. I'm going to drag this button up and drop it into the grid layout. And I'd like to put it into create here. So there's my button. Give it a name and a label. So that's exactly what I want it to be. Now I'd actually like to change this from being a region to the side of customer to being a sub-region. When I ran this page earlier, it didn't look very good having the address region to blow all the buttons. So I'm just going to go back to the full display and right-click on address. I want to move it to a sub-region of customer. So now you can see it's actually added it into this customer region and I'm good to go. So now that I've made all the changes I'm after, I'm just going to save this. Go back to page two, simply so I can run the page. So here's my customer. I have my address with this validate button. And then I have my interactive report at the bottom of the page. So thank you very much for watching this video. 